Good, I'm with Peter from Estate Agency A20. Now, Peter, you've brought me to a part of Western Cyprus that I really didn't know much about. Tell yeah. me about where we are today. Well, we're just outside Polis in the western part of Cyprus. Yeah. This is recognised as the most uh, scenic part of Cyprus. Yeah, and I saw, I mean, you came over beautiful mountains, the sea looks really interesting here well, as well. You have the Mediterranean Sea in front, to the left you have the Akamas Nature Reserve that could never be built on, and then behind us we have the Paphos Pine Forest, again can't be built on. So this area is becoming more exclusive. We have a lovely town of Polis, it's a traditional town with paved streets. Then just up the road we have Lachi Marina. Half of it is luxury yachts, and the other half is local fishing boats. So why don't we Brit buyers know about this? Well, why? It's a bit of a secret, isn't it? It is. We try and change that, but a lot of British people they think Cyprus, Paphos. Yes. But Paphos is very built up. Yeah. And what happens is sometimes people buy in Paphos, and then they drive up to Lachi Marina and sit there in a the restaurant looking at the yachts and the sea, and think. Why didn't we come here? <laughs> so one of our biggest challenges, being the biggest estate agent in the area by a long way, is persuading people to come to this part of the world. And have a look at it before yep. you take the plunge and buying somewhere else. Yep. Now, anyway, I mean, I've, I have, I've looked around and it hasn't seemed particularly densely populated, which I love, but normally means prices are a bit higher. So for a, let's start, the, let's go through the market, shall we? Two bedroom apartment, access to a pool or near a beach, what are we looking at? 90,000 euros, say at the moment about 80,000 pounds. Okay, then we go up to a villa. What am I looking Standard at for a villa? three bedroom villa is going to cost you, in English terms, about 260,000. 260,000 pounds, yeah, right. With, with a pool and with sea views. Okay, all right. And often that comes furnished as well. Okay, so we move up towards the middle market. What will 500,000 pounds get me? A uh, three, four bedroom villa, large landscape gardens, mm -hmm. good views. Well, okay. Yeah. That's, that's, I mean, it's compared to the UK, it's very cheap. Compared to the UK, it's cheaper, but yeah. it's it's probably a more expensive option than parts of, say, Spain. But we're not dealing with the same sort of buyer and certainly not the same sort of climate no. and topography, are we, really? No. And the strange thing about this area is we bring people here. And they say, isn't it wonderful, it's peaceful, it's scenic. And they say, why don't you have more properties? And I say, well, if we had more <laughs> properties, we'd be overbuilt. We'd well, be quite so peaceful, wouldn't it? That's right. A lot of our buyers um, are looking in the luxury end of the market. We've got private clients, footballers, people in the media. Is there a market, is, is there much development catering for the luxury purchaser here? There are, it's not overcrowded. But there are properties. We're at a property today that's yeah. beautiful. Um, we've recently sold a five bedroom villa on the beach. On the beach? Total oh. luxury on the beach. And that went for three and a half million. Oh, right, okay. So across the board, it, it doesn't sound like there's lots of dirt cheap apartments, but let's leave that to other markets. Yeah, yeah. Here, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, I get the impression that the market rewards people that are prepared to take the longer flight, four and a half hour flight, and once they're here, they may stay for longer. And that's English people. Yeah. We sell to Russians. It's quicker to get here from Moscow. It's four hours. Oh right. Okay, we're also now developing the Israeli market. Yeah. Because of Ryanair, you can now fly from Israel to here in 40 minutes. No way. That's, really? That's all. That's uh, and we have a lot of German and Scandinavian buyers. So there's a selection, but I have to say, there's a lot of English people here okay so lastly what's the market like here at the moment good last year was the best year we've had for 10 years okay since the crisis then yeah yeah and we were worried about this brexit thing but it has made a small difference but this year started off very well um, across all ranges we've nearly sold out of apartments we have a lot of interest in luxury and in the middle area as well okay sounds promising sounds like you're in for a busy year ahead we hope so, and what's nice is that when we finish work, we go down to Lachi Marina in one of the restaurants, either on the beach or overlooking the marina, yeah. and that's a nice way to relax after a day's work. Well, it's funny, I'm about to finish, actually, so I, that seemed like a hint. I'll take you off on that offer, then. Yeah, thank you very much for offering to buy. <laughs>